Okay, so let's say you want to create a navigation bar on the top of your website that has some drop downs to it. So let's pick a website. Any one of these websites will do. And let's edit the first one. Okay, so this is my navigation bar on the top here. I've put it in two separate spots because I wanted to have more control over my logo. But um, basically, let's add a section to demonstrate. No, not all the way down there. Up. Up. Okay. And then, so I did this one as two columns, but usually you would just do it as one column. And then navigation menu is one of these element blocks here. All right. So, oops, I don't actually need to drag it. Okay, um, so then you can have your cart in there if you have an e-commerce store or you can hide that. Um, you can put your logo image here, you can have the business name or you can hide it. Um, and you're going to be using this area over here to modify. So home, we're going to say where does that go, does it go to products, does it go to a page, does it go to a website URL. Now here you can see that about has a little arrow and team is underneath it. This is just a simple drag and drop situation. So you can make them all the same level like that. You can take one of them and sort of pull it out a little bit. You can see there's this tiny little sort of tab there and that is how you're gonna create these nested menus. You can add an item What is that? Item. Well, this is new. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Always discovering new things. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay, I don't know why it's like hovering above it. Oh, okay. So the mega menu, it looks like you can add all kinds of, you can like make a whole other website in there if you want to. It can be very formatted. That's interesting. Okay, but I'm going to take that out and say new menu item, whatever. You definitely want to change that URL uh, for all of these. So we can have, come on, there we go. Now it has two things under it. So, um, oh, home is very simple. It's always just gonna go home, I don't know, I don't do anything. Um, so yeah, you always wanna make sure that there's a URL or a page here that makes sense. Cause if you just leave it on default, it's not gonna go anywhere. And then here you have the option to show the cart icon or not. You can change the drop down icon, you can change the font, the spacing of these items, you can spread it out more. Um, you can reverse it so the pictures on that side. Kind of weird. You can show a search bar or not. So the search bar would be like if you have uh, a blog or you have a lot of stuff. Um, you can say take the logo out of the menu if we want to. And then under advanced, you can do borders and shadows uh, for menu and submenu. So right now you can see there's like a whole border around that. Um, so we can mess with that and do all kinds of stuff. But the, the main thing is on here, you're gonna add your new menu item. 
and just drag and drop to shift it around to create the configuration that you want. And I know there's a spot to take that business name off if you don't want it there too. Where is that? Some menu item space and you can mess with that too. Columns. Change that. You can change the alignment. So a lot of customizing you can do here. Menu versus submenu. Uh, business name, there it is. So it was under the menu configuration, and you also have the submenu.